This is it. This is it. We're good. Okay, welcome into the distillery. I'll I'll do the intro. Okay. You're just looking at me. It's awkward. You're um, awkward. <laughs> my name's Bria Lawrenson, and I'm joined here with my co-host Attic T. Attic T. Yep. We... Season number three, I think. Now. No, we're season season. We're at. Well, no, but uh... season two. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we're season yeah. two. Season two. Um, we took the summer off, so thank you guys for keeping updated online, social media, following us on the the Spotify channels and everything. Uh, it's been a really great summer. Nice. Yeah. And not like overly packed, which is nice because we still have like yeah. a three-year-old. Well, I feel like I worked a lot. You worked a lot. I feel like yeah. I worked a lot. So it was... Uh, it was hard to kind of do a lot of things, but but you know we had fun. Yeah. We bought a little mini pool. Yeah, for for the little kiddo. Yeah, yeah. And he loves it. And what happened the first time that uh, you brought him into the pool? What did the, he say? The first oh he because there was a tree that was hanging over the pool. Yeah. And it dropped leaves, and he and he said, "Please clean it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do this every time. <laughs> I know. It was I just know. a leaf. Well, the thing is, in our backyard, it's like slopes down. So it was hard to find a place where it, you know, that you're able to kind of put it together. So yeah. that's what kind of, that's why it is where it is under the tree. Sorry. <laughs> um, you went and saw Twister today. I did. How was yeah. that? It was really good. Yeah. I really, because you know, when you watch a movie and then there's like a remake or a prequel or whatever. You're just like, oh, it better be as good as the first or whatever. Yeah. It was it was really good. Like So it's it's a remake of the original Twister. Yeah. What year did that come out? Um oh man, I don't know. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Um but it was like one of my favorite movies growing up. Oh really? Yeah. Is it the same sort of idea like they're on like two rival teams and yeah so yeah oh, really? it's really is it? funny oh like, shit so it's like an actual <laughs> recreation that's cool yeah and they that's they cool. they put a lot of they kept a lot of nostalgia in it oh did which they? is cool like you know the part where they're at the drive-in and um the tornado comes and the movie's playing on the big screen like, yeah, yeah yeah it's the same kind of thing that they, oh really yeah but oh, it's that's cool. yeah but it's different actors obviously um and sort of different characters but, yeah, yeah. But they end up meeting like, like it's it's good. Just watch it. You know the storm chasers and they're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they're crazy. So, so the one guy is like he's like the wrangler and yeah. and he like he's like the tornado wrangler, and um, Dude, that's and, he's and so the tornado he's like wrangler. The tornado wrangler. So he's like a cowboy. Okay. So they're all in Oklahoma because that's where all the storms are. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. Um, and he is. He's like a star. He's like a kind of like a rock star, but he's like an outlaw. It's more like um, like the tornado wranglers, what they call him. And they and they and they have like this this truck that like puts aluminum into the ground once they get to the tornado, like okay. so that they so they they anchor themselves down. Oh shit! Once they get right to the tornado and they shoot fireworks up in it and like that's it was his whole thing oh, so that's cool they, but they're very smart like he's got a whole team of them one girl has a drone it's a drone yeah really? so it's all like modernized really because oh, there cool. was none there was no cool technology like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. when twister first came yeah out. i remember it was like a barrel thing. but now they're doing it like 3d like it's like a 3d dorothy so they get so they actually have different um should should Things. you be? Is this going to spoil the movie or anything? Yeah, or? well, I'm just. That's why I was like, <laughs> are we going to talk all about it or? <laughs> but I just want to say one thing. Yeah. They, they they made it really neat because they so you know how they have Dorothy, which is the one that spirals yeah. out all the, the yeah. data or whatever. Well, that they they have Tin Man over here, Lion, and um, what's the other one? Tin Man, Lion. Oh, and Scarecrow. So there's different. Oh, in the new movie? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Just... Spoiler alert. 
Well, I like that. Alert. I loved that about it. I know you did. You <laughs> love that movie. Mm, yeah. I mean, I'll watch it again and again and again. I know you would. There's a lot of movies you'd watch again and again and again. Yeah. The Bodyguard. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll name a couple. Uh, the Bodyguard. Oh, shoot. Oh, you be careful with that. Yeah. Who's that? Um, Ashton Kutcher. What's that? The Guardian. The Guardian, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hocus Pocus. No, not Hocus Well, I love Hocus Pocus. But no, the, no, not I, Hocus Pocus. The one you're I'm thinking, thinking of is, is... The girl when she jumps off the fucking roof. The Practical Magic. Practical Magic. Yeah. Okay. With Sandra Bullock and um, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sex and the City 2. Yeah, but only yeah. two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is that? Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, I know. I wish I could just hold on a sec. You I got one. I got one more like the tip of my tongue. Uh, no, no, keep talking. Keep talking. I I asked you Damn. last night to find that movie. That, I was trying to find it. I couldn't find it. The movie Monster. Yeah. Remember, I used to watch that movie all the time. Yeah, that's right. See, there's then, number five. I should have said it. Yeah. Damn it. So Monster, and then there's Flight. I love watching. Oh Flight. yeah, Flight with my main with man Denzel. Yeah, Denzel, yeah. Washington Denzel like motherfucker. That guy's a good actor. Um, and Training Day. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't watched Training Day in a while. Yeah, that's a good one. It was on uh, TV the other day. I haven't been to the theater in like years. They've changed everything. I know. It's and it's like there's hardly any. You do it all yourself. It's crazy. You go pick out your bag of popcorn. You go put the butter on. You can get ice cream, frozen yogurt. Yeah, like, fruits. Is that the f- or the circle? Um, they have both now. Oh, they have both. Yeah, they have like. Ooh, too many options. Yeah. But uh, we got some popcorn and, um, you know, it was it was nice to be in the theater again. I can't believe how amazing the seats are. I'm glad that you brought some popcorn home because there's nothing like movie popcorn. Mm-hmm. It's the best kind of popcorn well, in the whole entire that. world. That's why I yeah. got it. Because yeah. I knew, well, actually, mom got it, but I stole it from her. I went to the theater for the first time in many, 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 many years this summer. Mm-hmm. Saw the new Deadpool movie. Sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great fucking movie. Let Love me it. guess, Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, such a good movie. I'd go watch it again in the theater. <laughs> like, I like I'd go those... right now. Should we go right now? Mm, well, After the podcast. We're in the middle of something. After the podcast. I uh, want to say hi to everyone here that is live streaming us on TikTok right now. Yeah. Um, if you're not, thank you so much for the likes and such. And if you're not, just make sure you check it out. Check us out on the TikTok yeah. and um, BrielLawrenson.com. Everything is there. Uh, I've got a new bunch of songs coming out. Well, yeah. I mean, one thing we didn't mention about your summer is Nashville. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so she Brie did go down right. to Nashville. You were there for six days. Yeah. Six days. Yes. Six days. Uh, had a blast. Um, mm, it was so fun. And, I, uh, for the funnest trip. It was so fun. Well, you met a couple of Patreon members down there. That's so. right. Yeah. I yeah. met two two of my angel Patreon members uh, and from Alabama. Yeah. Shout um, out. Yeah, shout out Dwayne and Melinda. Uh, and you guys follow him on follow him on TikTok as well. It's at Trucker Dwayne. Um, he'll probably pop up as soon as you um, write it out. But um, he has been every single day um, putting my bumper stickers on all the semi trailers that that he drives across. The Amazing. States. Yep. Amazing. There's almost seven hundred of them now out there, and just twenty four seven driving on the roads. Um, um, of with my my face on them, and that's our kind of our slogan, or it's his slogan. He's like, I trucker Dwayne with her face on them. What's it feel to have so many people like know who you are? What does it feel like? Yeah, um, because you can go like you know, because his trailers have been through all through Nashville, so a lot uh, of those people have seen your face. So do you mind like? And we get new hits on the website from different all over yeah, the states, all which the is time. crazy. Which it's, is crazy. It's literally the best marketing scheme that I've ever done. And it's yeah. all because I met my, I call them family now. I yeah. met them on TikTok, um, Dwayne and Melinda. And so anyway, we we um, met each other in Nashville. And uh, we picked the same place to stay. And we had we had a blast. It wasn't it wasn't long enough. Yeah, we I know. Laughed I wish I was, I wish I went down. I know we talked about us maybe going down with you guys but and we will we'll, uh, yeah. we'll be planning that in yeah, years for to sure. come because, for sure. 100%. because Dwayne and um, 
Dwayne and Melinda are like family. So yeah. now yeah. every time they know I go come to Nashville once a year. Um, you know what? What we want to do is like get a big Airbnb one day. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then Have we some of that. What? 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 What did they make? The moonshine. No. Yeah. Well, the moonshine for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no. What was the food? I'm oh, a foodie. the hush puppies and yes. the cat fried yeah. catfish. Yeah. Oh my god. That fried catfish must have been out of this fucking world. It was so good. I know. And Damn like, it, I wish I, it was there. It was like. It was like Kentucky Fried Chicken good. But that's like amazing. Fish. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. There's and nothing I, like I a good I'd, battered fish. Yeah. And I don't think I'd ever had catfish before. I mean, I love You've never catfish. had catfish? No. Oh, they're so good. But it was... And then they he le, he made so much that uh, we in, uh, and we invited the receptionist from... The oh, no <laughs> way. Really? To come oh, up. that's awesome. And he filled his plate and he was like, thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. And Melinda's like, you're welcome, baby. Oh, my God. Like That's they're, awesome. They're like Southern, real Southern comfort yeah. people. Yeah. Southern hospitality. That's amazing, man. Shout out to them. And then also we were out, um, we went to a convenience store and when we pulled up the... The guy was sitting outside, the worker, and he and Dwayne says, "Hey, how are you?" He goes, "I'm not too good right now, to be honest." And and um, his car, his battery died, so Dwayne yeah. Dwayne just plugged him back in and started jumped the car. And uh, oh, that's awesome! Really? Yeah. And oh, that's awesome. He was so grateful. It's like, and then we saw we gave him one of our pieces of pizza we got a mellow mellow mushroom i don't know if you've ever been to nashville but oh that's your favorite place for pizza anyone yeah anyone i mean there's a lot to choose from <laughs> obviously but yeah yeah i love mellow mushrooms so we had dinner there and then Dwayne stops and gives our leftovers to one of those buskers on the street that oh, had a dog. Oh, that's awesome. And he's, that's awesome. he just like does stuff like that. He'll just like go out of his way to think about yeah, that. That's that. Yeah, that's that southern <laughs> hospitality that, yeah. that, you know what I mean? That that. And he's had to work really hard yeah, all his life. So yeah. he knows like when, he knows how it feels to be. Yeah. You're listening to this while you're on the road. So keep your yep. eyes on the road, Dwayne. Thank you so much <laughs> for Hope everything. to see you soon, buddy. Yeah, we um so when you were while you were in nashville mm -hmm. we uh you recorded four four new four, songs four new songs i did okay but let's talk let, let's let's leave the um the release one because when we hopefully when we get this edited <laughs> we're gonna release yeah, we're, this podcast gonna... on release day of your new single but don't say the name okay because <laughs> we'll keep that to song number four um so what okay. were the first three um, I started with, um, the whiskey rattle. No, I started with oh, yeah, the, whiskey the whiskey rattle from mm -hmm. morning to oh, night. Can you play it? Yes, I can. My guitar might be able to tune though with that one. Do you want me to tune it? No, you don't know how to tune it. We don't, we don't know that. You don't you know haven't. how to tune it. You've never well, asked me before. Listen to the echo when I put my drink down. Yeah. You've never asked me before. So do you, do you want me to play it? No, we'll play your new single live on the air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So the whiskey rattle, and um, and then there was love and hate, and so okay. Well, hold on. Can you give us like a snippet of the whiskey rattle? Yeah. Okay. The whiskey rattle. Some people say it's in the way that I walk. But thing. Friday night, it's in the way that I talk. It comes out when I'm drinking, and the bus starts to kick in. It's a whiskey rattle from morning till See night. See what we did there? You went high, I went low. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, all right. Um, it's a conversation for another day. So all the Patreon members get the music like, like early, obviously. So before I release a new song, the Patreon members get it first. I can... Yeah. Put it in there, and you can always go back and download it whenever you want. That's um, a wicked perk. Oh, do you have yeah. your phone? Because I want to read the press release for the new single, too. Yeah, my phone's right here. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. I can oh. take the live stream down if you want. Oh, I don't know. It's fine right it. now. We'll, 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 we'll I think my battery is dying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the second one? Um, we did that. We, I, I, this is the first time I actually did a cover song. A uh, song by Patty Loveless called You Don't Even Know Who I Am. You he left the ring. What? She left the key in the driveway. 
She left the car, the clothes on the floor. She left a note on the kitchen. It said, you don't even know who I am. You left me a long time ago. This, it was like big in the 90s, I think. Yeah. A big song and for Patty Loveless. And I wanted to keep some sort of... I wanted to do like a song that was nostalgic like that. Um, that I could bring back... And then, but still have people remember it and like. Yeah. Well, nostalgia is pretty big right now too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I think for TikTok as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, because it's like what, when you what, remake what, music. What brought you to that song? Um, it was because I saw the the live sh- the live video of her, Patty Loveless, and Chris Stapleton. Oh, okay. Uh, singing it on stage. The video. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for the taps. Wow. Thank you. Thank you guys. And what? Uh, what's the third one? Okay. So no, th- this would be. I just named. Th- I just named three, didn't I? Well, you, yeah, but you haven't given us a little snippet of love and oh. hate. You know oh, what I'm saying? love and hate. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, man, you forget the song or what? We're, we're putting, <laughs> I don't. It's because I always start with my <laughs> with my guitar. Like I'm. Do you want a I, guitar? I'll tune this one right right now. I don't know, like what I want to sing about love and hate, like which part. Um, love and hate. So it's about it's like I have your hands in your eyes, but all you really ever gave me was goodbyes. Um, my favorite line in the song is. Uh, the second verse, uh, little me thought you hung the moon, but it, you weren't the hero in my story and I'd find out soon. The leaving kind don't look behind. And then there's a line that says <coughs> you, you were the outlaw in the wreckage of my life. That was a pretty crazy line that I, yeah, came that's, to a, me. that's wicked. That's wicked. And uh, I thought, oh, wow, this is, you know, <laughs> it's a cool way to express the feel- the feelings I definitely had. Yeah, for- that was a strong song. When you sent me the all the songs um, the night you got them, mm-hmm. um, that was uh, that was like a that was a good little tearjerker for sure. Yeah. Did yeah. you cry? I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. I did my thing. Yeah. I did my thing. Did you do your Adele thing? What Adele thing? <laughs> You, you know where you, where you listen to Adele and, and like oh go, just get pissed off at the world <laughs> go oh, work man. out or something that was my powerlifting song that was it literally somebody was it somebody like you yeah someone like someone you. like you that's right it's been a while that was back in my powerlifting that. days yeah well yeah. it's just you, you know what it is with those types of songs it just kind of just pulls at your heartstrings right oh, and then yeah, for, for sure. people like some people might get sad I just get pissed off. <laughs> Like I'd rather be mad. Oh, well, that's it. Sad. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So those, like this collection of songs, I'm really excited about. I'm I'm pumped I mean, about it. Like, can I say something about the whiskey rattle? Mm-hmm. So we kind of talked about it a little bit, um, but I want to maybe try and do a music video in the next like month, month and a half. Yeah. Where basically we just get a um, we're gonna get a group of our friends together. We're gonna rent an Airbnb. And we're just gonna party. Have a big ass party. Yeah, and I just want to <laughs> set up a bunch of cameras. Yeah, and just and then just the get whole. just live action shots of of everybody just hanging out, partying, being together. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the song is like, what did I say? It remind you? It reminded me of um, the whiskey rattle. Who's that dude? Oh, with the, song? the Garth Brooks. Yes. I've got friends. That's <laughs> right. Well, it's it because like. I mean, that's- I, pretty good compliment it is but i mean it's because it's a big song it's because when that song comes out everyone runs out and everyone just starts singing it right yeah and i can see that with the whiskey rattle everyone yeah. is running out and singing it together because it's about having rattle. that's it it's a it's an upbeat having a great time type of song you know yeah. i love doing it with, with the musicians in the studio because they like sometimes i'll well every time i bring my music there i bring like a reference song of like kind of the instrumentation that i want and like how i want it to sound so i used um the bar song by shabuzi which one's that <laughs> when, why one. is this person's name shabuzi 
You don't know about Shabuzi? I mean, I know of Shabuzi, but I don't know Here much comes of Shabuzi. One, two, to the three, to the four. Then another round. Oh, bring us oh, another song, round. Yeah. We need plenty more. Here comes the one. Th- it's very cool. So he's he was he, he opened for Jelly Roll and Blues Fest in Ottawa. Oh yeah, yeah. That, it was we could have went. Eh, tickets weren't that bad, but just too many people. Yeah, there's so many people. Lots um, of speaking of Jelly Roll, he released a new single uh, with Eminem. Oh really? Have you not heard it? Wait, what is it called? Uh, somebody say. I think oh, he just like read. Somebody read- say. Yeah, yeah I've heard but that. it's but it's with Eminem. So Eminem oh, yeah, is. Oh I've heard that. Just, holy I've heard shit! It. Have you seen the video? No. It's crazy. I love Eminem. I know. I'm so happy he's back. His new album is Mint. Yes, who's back? That's another exciting thing too. Back again. Um, but there's one song on his album that's really like it made me sad. And oh, I which don't, one? I I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like nobody's playing it right now. <laughs> I was just telling you how I felt. Um, uh? it, it made me sad because it's. It's kind of like it's a letter to his to to um to Haley. Haley. Yeah. And who's the other kid? There's Nathan or Haley Nathan. Um um I forgot her name. And it's sad. It was a great album. <laughs> I love the album. But yeah, I mean I I gravitate towards the sadness. Yeah. So I mean it's not like it ruined the album for well, me. And, I and, love it. And with your song Love and Hate too, like when it comes time, we're gonna dissect that song and that's gonna be uh Ooh. that'll be an episode and a half, you know? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah, that'll Well and uh so now what's the fourth and final song that's being released? It's already released on Patreon, so get it if you're a Patreon member, go get it right now. It's called The Long Haul. Hello. Yeah, it's called He's the telling long me haul. where to look. Well, no, just you like, know you're so bossy. I'm not bossy. I just want to make sure everything looks oh good. My oh my I'm, gosh. I'm looking, it's myself. Here. Hello. <laughs> Does it look all right? Yes, it looks good. You look great. Thanks. No problem. I love your hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm still working I'm to on it. Some points. Um, so yeah, it's called The Long Haul, and uh, it's getting released this week. And when did the so, Patreon members get it? When? Yeah. They have it. It's already there. Yeah, but when when did you release it to Patreon? The night that I came back from Nashville. Oh, that's awesome. That's mm-hmm. awesome. They've had it for like a couple weeks. A week, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's being released. Um, can you like kind of give us a little bit of inspiration as to the song what's yeah. what's kind of going on with it so basically it's like an anthem that i that i wanted to write um ever since i became so close with the patreon uh patreon members and just you know Dwayne and melinda specifically um and he's got his long haul trailers and he's just spreading my base all over the north america and i just i was like man we need like i need to write a good song that's like representative of meeting people that you never knew before that will support you to the end okay so it's <coughs> i'm in it for the long haul like and that's kind of the way i feel about yeah. these people that that have joined my patreon and that, yeah. you know that have shared my Become face. family now like yeah. it's just crazy because you go in you go in the industry thinking like what I've been in this, the music industry for years and years, thinking um, you have to do all of this for like to get the, that deal. Like you have to get a record deal first, and then yeah. you have to grow, you know, with other people's money, like using investors and like you think of the business side of it. And when when you really hone in on the music and the and the why, the reason why you're doing it, like the connection between yeah. people, yeah, and you find your own family and you find your own support system, but it's all it's social media is like well, it's been, it's, it's it's nice in a world where there's a lot of you know, um, how can I put it like a lot of hatred and anger out there, yeah, you know, so it's nice to exactly. to kind of come across some some very very great people. Yeah, um, and so that's basically what it's, yeah. what it's dedicated to. Yeah. And um, we were talking about Alabama winning. What 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 did they win last night or the night before? Uh, like yeah, last night. To- See, the beautiful thing about this time of year, 
Labor Day weekend, <laughs> college football starts. Right. And then this coming Thursday, the NFL starts. And then back to football yeah. all the time. It's going to be great. Sounds awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they, they're, they're very, very big Alabama fans, and now so are we. So they sent us some uh, some cool sweaters, so thank you. Yeah, we got some Alabama Some hoodies. Alabama swag, man. They're going to represent. They're setting they crushed us up. it last night. Looking forward to next Saturday night. Mm-hmm. I was working last night, so I didn't really get to watch the game very much, but yeah. I'm um, uh, going to look forward to next weekend. I'm and gonna mom, be off. mom was wearing her hoodie, too. They oh, got yeah? hoodies for our fa- whole family. No, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> They're Alabama. such awesome people. Roll Tide. Do you want to um, play the song? Um, do I really want to? Yeah. I'm kind of kind of kind of hoping you words. Okay, well. It's kind of banking on it. Wow. <laughs> okay, hand me my guitar. All right. Oh, so sick new studio. We got some guitars up now right behind us. We got a little half wall in the back. We got some new lights. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. All right, let's do this. Hold on. You got to tune it? I might have to tune it a little bit. Do you want so my ear or you're good? Yeah. No, you don't need I don't I don't need your ears. I need mine. Thank you. I'm just going to move over to the side here. Oh. Oh shoot. Light it up. Light it up. See, the Patreon members get all this. I might, I might just like, <laughs> they get the un- unedited video. Oh. oh you might have to go get my tuner for me. You didn't, we didn't prepare for this. Or, or or just get me my other guitar that's up there. Oh. <laughs> We've got so many guitars. And, um, yeah. But this one has been down here. Oh, goodness. It's been down here. And the the, the weather and the temperature, the, the change is just kind of crazy from upstairs to downstairs. So they go out of tune. And... It's flat. Almost there. Just pass me another guitar. Thank you. Switch it. Yep. This is the one that I've been using more, so it's tuned. Uh, this is my new guitar. I think I'm going to call it Falcor. Falcor? Wait. What's Falcor? Falcor? What's that? Is that the... I think it's the white dog from... Um, from the never-ending story. Oh, man. Who the hell remembers the never-ending story? <laughs> did you watch that, that movie? I probably did. Not, I not, loved not, it. Not a lot. I was watching a lot of Captain Majid as a kid. Oh, yeah. The Arabic show. That's right. Nemr al Mukanna. The... Uh, Masked wrestler. Uh, Hi, Rebecca. Hey, Trucker Dwayne's in. Hey. We were just talking about you. She's going to play the long haul. She's going to play the long haul. (laughs) This world's gone crazy. No, that's not the chord progression, is this? I was going to say. Right. This world's gone crazy So how about we do it my way, our way Let's hit the freeway And get going This dollar ain't worth the Time it took to earn it So I'm cashing out early Let's get gone A minute for the long haul 
Riding on a roll tight, ready to fall. You're stopping for the red lights. And I'm on the road to get rally tonight. I've been living on gasoline this high. Weighted dreams, breaking the rules, risking it all. Cause I'm in it for the long haul. In it to win it. In it for the long haul. In it for the long haul. I'm in it to win it. In it for the long haul. This, these highway white lines are wearing on my blue collar. I'm just trying to make a dollar. Get on home. Is this game we're all playing it's taking more than it's making. So I'm gunning for the weekend. Let's get gone. Minute for the long haul Riding on the road tired, ready to fall You're stopping for the red lights And I'm on the road to Alabama tonight I've been living on gasoline This highway to dreams, breaking the rules Risking it all, so I'm in it for the long haul Yeah, and I'm in it for the long haul in it to win it, in it for the long haul This world's gone crazy So how about we do it our way How about we hit the freeway Let's get gone Nice, there. love it, bravo Thank you Bravo the impromptu performance That's that right. I was not prepared for. <laughs> it's funny because when I'm singing it in the studio, it, it's so different. It's a different animal when you're recording a song. Um, it's just singing it. And then when you're writing it and playing your guitar and singing it, it's like the you can hear, you hear different things. So I hear I heard more melodies because I was focusing more on my my melodies yeah in the studio it's just um you know and you almost you just have to play the song like like you like forever like play it a thousand times just to get that comfortable with it where like you can be on stage and like not screw it up <laughs> well i don't did you, i don't think you screwed it up no but i think i forgot like the second verse you know i just you know there was that little you know, oh okay you know but it's true it's also like a live it's the nature of it right the yeah. live the live performance so yeah oh uh, Dwayne and Dwayne, I love Dwayne it. and Melinda are, are in the TikTok live so hi guys thank you guys thank you for the emotes and um, <laughs> the taps so with this song how long did it take you to uh, to record it in Nashville uh, we were done all the music parts of the recordings in one day like two hours <laughs> with background vocals no so that was the band part and then okay. my vocals oh um, so that was just the band yeah oh, okay me and the band and um oh and something really cool also i was so happy that um i i could invite melinda and Dwayne to be in the studio yeah with that's me. awesome so i'm they glad they got there. to experience that and, that's wicked yeah i started singing love and hate or you know, we started playing it, and then I look over at Melinda, and she's like bawling her eyes out. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh God, I'm gonna start bawling too." She's like, "I was not prepared for this." <laughs> she's so funny. That's oh awesome. my god. Um, um, yeah, but having them there, and so getting to have you know my fam, basically Patreon, but family, yeah, Patreon members, and. And, you know, getting to have that kind of experience. It's, that, it's, it's awesome. That is it's the really kind of cool. stuff that we want to offer to yeah. our Patreons, right? Yeah, for sure. Those for sure. kind of things. So, like, maybe next year we'll I'll organize a big Patreon meetup or, like, yeah. a TikTok meetup. Yeah. And um, and you, then we can have more experiences like yeah. that. And then, um, so, when you went, so you did, the first day was just the band, the band and then i and then i did vocals the second day from two to six but I, so we how was it with the five. band were you like the guys more guitar here or could we have like a solo here or like um, this here no well so we have a production call before we get with the band so i talked to the band leader who is the one of the owners of the the studio yeah um and he's a bass player he's awesome like we just we said on the video a zoom video 
and we'll, we'll listen to the music. This is just the way that I send them, just like guitar and vocals. Yeah. And then we. And you talk give them a song to mirror, right? To mirror, yeah. Yeah. To like a reference song, yeah. yeah. Um, and like they know exactly what to do. Like the for the whiskey rattle, I gave that song Shabuzi for a reference song, uh, the bar song. Yeah. And they turned it into like this rock, like Shania Twain, like That's awesome. shuffle. I was like, yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It's almost like I sh- I don't really have to send them even a, a reference song because they already know what, yeah. what to do. It's cr- just crazy. Um, yeah, so the production call is like usually an hour. So then, what, it's okay. So then, what are you guys doing in this? Like, what are you doing in the studio when they're playing this, the the music? I'm sit, standing there with the with the engineer, um, in front of the the big mixer and the, and the computer, and um, the guys are in different rooms because they all get their own like room, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm singing. I have my mic. And I have my headphones on, and I'm singing. You're singing into singing. a microphone so they can hear. So they can hear. Oh, yeah, the okay. Lead parts. Okay, then, I got you. But, but the only the, the thing is, I could just do. I only have to sing it once, and then they they go back and they like cut cut and paste their parts and stuff. Like it's really interesting. Yeah, to watch. it is. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. it's hard to articulate exactly what happens, but it's yeah. um, yeah. I started crying too when I heard what they were doing with my songs like which one love and hate that was the first one yeah, yeah. that's gonna be a gut wrench when we break that shit down man yeah and jim jimmy's the, the engineer he looks over and i'm like bawling my eyes out i'm like mm. and he's like he just gives me a little smile and like they they love to know that that that's how they know yeah, that course. they have connected yeah. they've done their job mm-hmm. right, you know mm-hmm. so so the next day you went back and did your vocals mm-hmm. and how was that it was great. Yeah. Great. I worked with Rob. I always work with him. He, he, um, and he's like a vocal engineer. Yeah. He does the vote. He loads the song and then he, you know, puts me in the vocal booth, sets up the mic and I got my headphones and my mix and everything. I can control sort of the volume if I want to. Um, but if I need anything else, I just ask him for reverb so, more volume. More, oh, cause more you're me. hearing yourself, right? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So and do you get to pick which one you like, like which take you like? Yeah, I'm I'm really like, oh no, let's do that again. Oh or I'm like, yeah, that that was fine. Like oh, okay. I'm I try not to be over picky with it because I can be, but the things that they can do is just amazing now. Like I do sing all my own harmonies, but there was one song uh, that I did a few years ago, the harmony was really weird. It was hard for me. So, and we were kind of running out of time. So you only get like half an hour, half an hour per song, I think. What? Maybe, maybe, maybe an hour per song. What, oh, to do your harmonies. T- to do the vocals and the harmonies. What do you mean half hour per song? You were there for two hours. Yeah. So I had four songs and yeah. I was there for two hours. Oh, you did all your songs in yeah. two hours. Oh, yeah. I get you. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So if sorry. you go over the time, I think it's like 90 minutes per half hour or something. 90 you have to pay dollars extra. per half hour? Yeah. Because okay. it's a well-oiled machine. Like, oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Well, they there. got people waiting, right? So and it's yeah, just like boom, boom, the boom. Next, yeah. To the next artist. Okay. So sorry. So, keep going. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, you were <laughs> saying the... the um, to do you you were uh, when you were doing a song earlier like a few years ago you oh, said you couldn't do the background vocals that's right and then um he was just like well you know what let's just tell the let's just tell them in the mixing or he actually just the computer did it through the computer like they have so much that's like, crazy ai like, so you they they did it through ai yeah they 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 can so what literally did they do? take your voice and at whatever key it is and then theoretically like say you wanted to bring it up a key they could bring it up a key the whole production so you don't even have could. to sing it so well i mean yeah i mean is that what you're saying once, yeah and well this is what's happening in the world like it, yeah yeah i knew that I, well yeah but, well, but I yeah guess. Like, harmonies i never really thought that they can just do that like for they can just put like, your voice it, i guess you just put like what's well, into the fifth harmony wild. or the third harmony or whatever it is that's wild that they that you want and the computer does it for you which song was this um i think it was as far as dreaming goes oh okay yeah that's wild check it out on spotify 
So it took you a half hour to do them, the background? So you yeah. were, yeah? Well, and actually, so I was there from two to six. It was supposed to be two to six. So that's four hours. Yeah. Yeah. So an hour per song. Yeah. But we were done at like five. Oh, really? You felt comfortable? Oh, I just, you know, we nailed them. And yeah. he's so fast, too. Like, you he, you have to, you know, you have to be fast because it's so competitive there. So he, like, he knows exactly where to bring me in. Like, if I'm like, oh, God, I did not like that last part. Like, bring me in at the top of that. Like, and he's like, okay. And click, he's there. And doom. He, Done, you know, it ready. doesn't take him any time. That's cool. Yeah. Well, that's experience, right? Yep. That's exactly. experience. That's experience. Exactly. And it's, um, yeah, it's fun. So we're releasing it to radio today. That's awesome. Uh, so make sure you get today? out there and download it. Well, I mean, when release day. Release day is September 3rd. Yeah, hopefully, yes. yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, and, it'll be um, September 3rd. September. You'll be able to get it. But you know what? If you want it right now, you all you have to do is just join us yeah. on um, Patreon. Yeah. And uh, it's at com. You'll find the links yeah. there. And you get That's it right awesome. away. And then the next s- song after that, we'll make sure we upload that to the patrons as well. Yeah, we'll do it before so, each single, for yeah. sure. For sure. I'm excited for this one, though. Yeah. I'm excited I, for this I'm one. It's a nice, upbeat too. song, it's ready to go, you good. know? It's a good driving song. Yeah, yeah. This world's gone crazy. Yeah. Yes. We it should has. think of a music video idea with, like involving a bunch of cars. Like or how about trucks. like trucks? I was gonna say, yeah. Like how about you just driving? Why don't down? we just go to Alabama and do a whole music video uh, with Lane me. and Melinda don't and their truck? Me. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. I could me. like stand on top of the truck. Oh my god! The health and safety. <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me right now? That would be so fun. Um, but yeah. So, so make and, sure to download it. So yeah, it's available on Spotify and yes, everywhere else you check stream. Check us out. Um, and the distillery podcast obviously yeah. uh there's a lot of episodes if you have if you're just tuning in and finding us now we have a whole other season that we did last um september to i don't know march i guess we yeah. took the summer off so yeah. you can get the first season um and also you can get it on youtube we are every time we release an episode to Podbean. it goes everywhere we're gonna so, start releasing video to youtube and yeah now if we it have works, yeah three cameras here so we're gonna edit it and um you know make it make it real pro make it lovely so give us a follow and share 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 yeah so uh thanks for tuning in and uh what's that you know you want you never asked me about like why i put these here oh my god (laughs) i thought this was i'm sorry is this the attic show I you know I, what? I knew you were gonna, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say like this is my show. Okay, show them all and talk. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to zoom. I in don't there. know if we'll be able to get the camera. We have There's the, no camera. We, we have a vintage <laughs> WrestleMania mini ring. We got Kevin it's Nash out here. We got crazy. Bret Hart. We got Scott Hall. We got Hulk Hogan. We got Shawn Michaels. And I was just trying to add a little flair to this podcast. Let's get going. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, my personality this show. We have time it took to earn it. Well, it'd be nice. So I'm yeah. casting out early. <laughs> Let's get going. Till next time, guys. See you later. Bye.
stopping for the red lights And I'm on a road to Alabama tonight I've been living on gasoline this high 